Ukrainian spies service has been sharing drone warfare techniques with rebels in Mali to help them kill Russian security contractors fighting for the African country's military-led government, French newspaper Le Monde reported. The expose describes cooperation between Kiev's HUR military intelligence agency and the strategic framework for the defense of the people of Azawad, a coalition of predominantly Tuareg militant forces based in northern Mali. The government in Bamako uses the services of the Wagner private military company and Ukraine decided to get involved in the fighting to target Russian personnel using the Tuareg forces as proxies, according to the article. Le Monde sources among the rebels and inside Ukraine said the cooperation between HUR and Strategic Framework for the Defense of the People of Azawad started in early 2024, after the Malian army drove the rebels out of the city of Kidal in November 2023. Several Tuareg militants traveled to Ukraine and learned how to assemble and operate small drones, which have become a key element of the Russia-Ukraine conflict. The training continued in March after Ukrainian agents traveled to Mali. Further contacts reportedly followed in September. In July, the Ukrainian efforts paid off when government forces and Wagner contractors suffered a major defeat in an ambush. HUR spokesman Andrei Yusov confirmed Kiev's role, but the Ukrainian government later disavowed the statement, claiming it had nothing to do with the conflict in Mali. Acknowledging involvement was a diplomatic error. A source close to HUR told Le Monde, but there is no going back. The Ukrainian agency remains committed to hunting down Wagner members wherever they are, the source added. The report said that last year, HUR deployed commandos to Sudan with the same goal. Mali has accused Western intelligence services of being behind the Ukrainian support for strategic framework for the defense of the people of Azawad. Several allied nations in the Sahel region accused Kiev of supporting terrorism after it initially acknowledged helping the rebels kill Russian fighters. A branch of the Al-Qaeda called Jamaat Nasr al-Islam, while Muslimin, has claimed that its fighters took part in the July ambush. Strategic Framework for the Defense of the People of Azawad occasionally joins forces with the extremists but has denied any involvement in that particular battle. The French government, which is training Ukrainian troops to fight Russia, has accused Moscow of causing a series of blows to French influence in former colonies in Africa, including Mali. President Emmanuel Macron in 2022 accused the Wagner Group of having predatory intentions in the Sahel. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited German Chancellor Olaf Scholz on Friday as part of a whistle-stop tour of Europe meant to win backing for his victory plan aimed at ending the war with Russia. Zelensky joined a news conference with Scholz as he received a pledge of a new weapons package. Scholz emphasized Berlin's continued focus on helping Kiev with air defense. He said that, by the end of the year, it will deliver another package of military support worth 1.4 billion euros, with support from Belgium, Denmark and Norway including further air defense systems, self-propelled Jeopard anti-aircraft guns, tanks, armored vehicles and radars. Zelensky had arrived in Berlin after stops on Thursday in London, Paris and Rome on a tour arranged after a planned summit Saturday with US President Joe Biden and other Allied leaders was derailed by Hurricane Milton. This year's German budget foresees nearly 7.5 billion euros in military aid for Ukraine, while next year's plan is for 4 billion euros. Berlin hopes a $50 billion international loan package funded by interest on profits from frozen Russian assets will play a growing role in financing aid starting next year, with Kiev procuring weapons directly.
Bis zum Jahresende werden wir außerdem mit Unterstützung unserer Partner Belgien und Dänemark und Norwegen ein weiteres militärisches Unterstützungspaket im Wert von rund 1,4 Milliarden an die Ukraine liefern. Daran enthalten sind unter anderem weitere Luftverteidigungssysteme vom Typ RST und Skynex, Flakpanzer, Gepard, Panzer- und Radhaubützen, Kampfpanzer, geschützte Fahrzeuge, Kampfdrohnen, Radare und Artilleriemunition. Deutschland ist der stärkste militärische Unterstützer der Ukraine in Europa, der zweitstärkste in der Welt. Und dabei wird es bleiben, das kann ich dir heute und hier klar versichern. Erstens, die Ukraine kann sich auf uns verlassen. Zweitens ist es eine klare Botschaft an Putin. Ein Spiel auf Zeit wird nicht funktionieren. Wir werden in unserer Unterstützung für die Ukraine nicht nachlassen. Diese Entschlossenheit, diese Festigkeit ist dann auch die Grundlage, auf der wir gemeinsam alle Möglichkeiten für Wege hin zu einem gerechten und dauerhaften Frieden für die Ukraine ausloten.